Hi guys, so last year I made a video on how to install VirtualBox in Windows 10 and right now I'm on Windows 11 so it's pretty much the time to show you how to set up a VirtualBox for any Linux distribution. So in this video I'll specifically talk about Arch Linux because uh, I want to show all of the users of Arch Linux GUI how to set up a uh, virtual box and how to s use the Arch Linux GUI ISOs inside virtual box. Uh, many of the users are uh, from Windows, Windows 10 and 7. So if you are trying out Arch Linux GUI ISOs, this is how you should set it up. All right. So you can watch that video, how to install it. I'm uh, assuming all of you probably have virtual box already. Uh, what we want to do right now, by the way, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel and to the project in general, Arch Linux GUI helps you install vanilla Arch Linux with help of a graphical installer. I've made this video, which you can go ahead and check. I'll put the link in the description, All right. So what you want to do is uh, click on new and please note, I'm talking about Arch Linux here, but this works for all the core uh, distributions like Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Gentoo, you name it, all right? So what you want to do is type in here Arch Linux template. You want to replace Arch Linux with your distribution, for example, Debian. Uh, I would really recommend you to name the core distributions uh, because, uh, for example, if you are using uh, Kali Linux and Parrot OS, both of these are Debian-based distributions. So you can just make one template and then clone it later on uh, for both these completely different operating systems. So as you can see, uh, VirtualBox has detected the type of OS as Linux. Our version is Arch Linux, 64-bit. Click on Next. We want to allocate some RAM which the VM will use. In, uh, in my case, I have 8 gigs of RAM uh, physical memory installed. So I'll go ahead and allocate 2 gigs of RAM, which is 2 into 1024. If you have lesser RAM, which is probably going to be 4 gigs, you should keep this to 1024. And if you have more RAM installed, 16 gigs, 32 gigs, then you should uh, allocate more RAM, all right? You get the point. So two gigs in my case, I'm gonna click on next. We want to create a virtual hard disk right now. Click on create. And then we also want to create a virtual box disk image. So this is the type of hard disk that is going to be created. So click on next. And this type of hard disk is going to be dynamic, dynamically allocated, all right? So the size is not going to be fixed. So we're gonna click on next. And the minimum recommended uh, size of hard disk for most Linux distributions is 50 gigs. And in case of rolling release distributions like Arch and Gen2, you should uh, allocate 50 gigs if you have available because usually when you're trying things out, there are going to be updates and upgrades. So you should have some memory, uh, some, some space, not memory, some space where these updates can be installed, all right? Usually 15 gigs uh, kind of works out but 50 uh, if you are trying to legitimately try out Arch Linux or any other Linux distribution. So I'm going to type in 50 here and then click on create. And then we can do some settings here, but I'll open the settings window so that uh, it's more clear. So we are going to come to system and then under processor, as you can see, I have eight CPUs, four core, four threads, four core, eight threads, sorry. So I can allocate one more CPU thread over here uh, if you have only four core four threads, you should stick to one. And if you have more, you should go ahead and uh, allocate more CPU threads. More the better, all right? So the more amount of uh, threads you allocate, uh, the better VM performance you'll get. Uh, lesser, it will be a bit laggy, all right? So next, you can go ahead to display. If you have a graphics driver, uh, a separate graphics card, you can always go ahead and pump this up to 128. Uh, I'm using an iGPU, so I'll keep this to 16, uh, it's fine, but what's important here in the display section is that you change the graphics controller to VBOX VGA, and then you'll get the full screen. A lot of people uh, just uh, keep this to VMS VGA, and then uh, you'll have to manually uh, select the re screen resolution uh, going inside the operating system. So for operating systems uh, that don't have this built in internally, usually it's pretty rare, uh, you won't get full screen. So by default, if you want full screen, keep this to VBOX VGA. And in storage, we are going to keep this empty. The reason is we are going to clone this template and then add the operating system there. So for example, if you made this clone, uh, this template for Debian, uh, we are going to click on OK, by the way. And then whenever we clone this, we can just go ahead and add 
let's say for example Kali Linux on one on one VM and then in the next VM we can just clone it and and let's say pad it so how do we clone it right click right click on the template click on clone and name uh, uh, type in the name of the operating system or the Linux distribution that you are going to uh, try out or install or whatever so in this case I'll be using the ALG XFCE edition so I'll name that it's Arch Linux with XFCE uh, click on next and then you want to make a full clone so we have a full clone so every time we want to try out an Arch Linux based distribution Manjaro, Arco Linux, Garuda Linux all we have to do is clone this template and this applies to any other core distributions whenever you want to try out Debian or its derivative distributions including Ubuntu then you can just go ahead and uh, clone the template that we just made using the same process you just have to uh, name Debian instead of Arch you get the point Gen2 instead of Arch and Red Hat Fedora instead of Arch you get the point so you can just go ahead and clone the template and all you need to do right now is go ahead and choose the disk file uh, this can vary so for example I have cinnamon, gnome and xfc uh, I named that xfc so I'll choose xfc here similarly I can go ahead and clone uh, this for let's say alg cinnamon alright click on next full clone and then I can go ahead and just select the disk uh, over here so this way you don't have to repeat the process again and again and you always have uh, a template to follow so now once you have loaded in your uh, respective uh, ISOs all you need to do is click on start let me just quickly show you the full screen mode so whenever uh, obviously when it's when the operating system is in the init phase uh, you won't get full screen uh, for most distributions they are using system D for example so you will not get full screen right control F you uh, will let you to the full screen mode by the way right control and F you'll get this message and quick you can click on switch or press enter and then uh, full screen mode but once uh, you are inside your desktop environment then everything will be in full screen okay so that is it this is how we set up virtual box uh, for on, on Windows and in fact whatever I just did in this video is applicable if you are using VirtualBox uh, as Mac with with Mac OS as host or any other Linux distribution as host uh, so this is how we do it thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day